everybody, it's Kristen and welcome to Topic Tuesday. Topic Tuesday this week is going to be a video that was much requested after I just kind of mentioned it in a video and that is comparing the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara with Tarte Lights Camera Lashes which is absolutely has been my holy grail mascara. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little clip of me applying um, both mascaras one to one eye and one to the other eye and then we will come back and talk about it a little bit I figure it's you don't really actually want to watch me in real time applying mascara so I will you know fast forward it a little bit give you some funky iMovie music <laughs> and then we'll come back and talk were not curled before I did the demo. I, I meant to mention that um, early in the video. I don't curl my eyelashes. They just kind of have an, a natural curl in them. So that that is something I can't speak to for you guys, whether they whether these mascaras hold the curl for you. They don't, neither one of them weighs down my lashes in any way, but um, I can't speak, I just wanted to mention that I can't speak to that because mine just kind of, my net my lashes just have a little kind of natural curl to them on their so own. So now having seen application, I'm going to give you a nice close-up look at both of the brushes. And I realize you probably have seen most of this before, but, well, this is my video on it. So that is the Too Faced brush. You can see that it, while it's one of those hourglass brushes, it's not very pronounced. And the ones that are really pronounced, I don't like at all. So this didn't bother me. And felt I felt like I got the same application on the left side versus the right side. Obviously, you only saw me apply it on my left side today. But, you know, when I have used it, obviously, I used it on both eyes. And sometimes with those hourglass ones, the way they're shaped, you can't actually get that. So I do like that about it. And this is the... Both of them are natural bristle. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I'm hoping that this light is helping and not hindering. So that brush, as you can see, is just your normal bristle brush, applies very well top and bottom. This brush on the Too Faced, I have, as you saw, and I kind of pinch it off, it's harder to apply on the bottom lashes than it is on the top. This one I feel applies just as well top versus bottom. So there's, you know, there's that. As you can see, in my opinion, two coats, they look very similar. Very similar. I have a mirror here so that I can... I. I feel like, and I tight lined both of my, you know, everything is the same as you're looking at it. So I'm going to just zoom in a little bit here while I'm talking to you. I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> and just let you really see. I'm looking in the viewfinder to make sure that it's focusing in case you're wondering. I feel like, I feel like the tart gives a little bit more volume or the, the Too Faced gives a little bit more volume and I feel like the tart gives a little bit more length. But, I mean, I'm talking really small amounts of both of those. Um, so, I, I think that the Too Faced sells for $23 and the, and the Tarte sells for $19. So both of those are a little bit higher end when it comes to mascaras. But here's what I have determined with the Too Faced. It was not... It's not 
coldness or anything that's making this flake. I think it just flakes. And that's a little bit disappointing to me. At the end of the day, too, I noticed, I'm, and this happens to me sometimes, when I start out a mascara, when I first open it, I maybe don't get those dots up above. And as I've used this now for more than a month, I'm starting to get dots up above towards the end of the day. I'm not really sure what that's all about. So, And with the Tarte Lights, Camera, Lashes, I never get those dots up above. And it does not flake on me. So I definitely... For me, the winner would be the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and I'm sure not everybody's going to agree with me on that. But for me, I really feel like this just performs a little bit better over the long haul. <laughs> and maybe that's just because I've used this one for so long. I don't know. I really tried to be unbiased with this because my, you know, I've never hid my love for Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is a great mascara. Don't get me wrong. This is absolutely worth it. And I can't remember now if I said this sells for $23 and the Tarte sells for $19. The full size of this has 0.27 fluid ounces and this has 0.24 fluid ounces. So there's, there's a little bit less in here. Not a ton less, but there's a little bit less. So I'm not sure if that's exactly what you guys were hoping for. They really are very similar. I just... I like the Tarte better. I just like it a little bit, just a little bit better. And when I showed this in my favorites, I it had been a long time since I used my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and I got one in a kit. So I opened it up right, you know, not right away, but shortly thereafter, just to kind of start using it so that I could compare the two. And I just, you, you know that you love something because you've talked about it so much. I just forgot how much I truly love this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It builds, it separates. It's amazing. So with two coats, which I think is generally what people apply with mascara, you know, generally you're applying two coats. Sometimes you might go through three. I don't know. I generally do two coats. If you do three, you can, you're can. you kind of getting into the danger possible spider zone there, I think. So they are really both great mascaras. If I had to pick one, I would absolutely pick the Tarte because it doesn't flake on me and um, it, it, perform it has performed well for years for me. So that's my rundown. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I'd be happy to get back to you on them. And if you're interested in, if you're not interested in what's on my face, then thank you so much for watching. And if you are, I'll run it down very quickly for you, although there is not much to it. I was trying to keep a very simple eye look so that we could focus on the mascara. So I just have some MAC Brulee all over the lid, a little bit of um, bamboo and soft brown in the crease. And in my tight line, I used my Tarte Sunstone Bronze. For my blush today, I used the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. Which is very, very pretty and bright. And on my lips today, I have, I wore this yesterday too, two days in a row. This is the Lumine Wild Rose Lip Liner in Neutral Story. And I, this was sent to me. Somebody mentioned, I had this a picture of this on Instagram the other day. And somebody said, oh, I didn't know they had anything but a CC cream. This was sent to me by a friend in Paris. And so I'm not sure if you can get that here or not. Just an FYI. And then I have my Too Faced Juicy Melons. All right, that is it. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope that you're having a great day, and we'll talk to you very soon. Bye!